Hey everyone, this is Nemo and welcome to another great PrestaShop video. So in today's tutorial, we'll be dealing with something new. As you can see here, we have PrestaShop 1.7. And uh, if you started playing with it already, you have noticed it's lacking a good number of features. The most important of which I think is the add, uh, where, or one of them, is the add to cart button from the product list. And this is what we're gonna do now. Um, this is um, how it looks by default. And this is how it will look after the tutorial is completed. As you can see, I also added this quantity box just to add a little more spice to it. So let's get to it. I will go to themes, classic, templates. And uh, if you're used to 1.6, you will notice this is a little different, but don't get confused. So catalog, partials, miniatures, and then we'll open up product.tpl. Now a round line, I have it saved already, 63, which is more or less uh, below the price. Uh, I'm gonna add my code. And the um, add to cart button that previously required JavaScript and stuff is now simply um, appendable, so to speak, with a form. So I will open a form with action. URLs, this is um, a new variable introduced in 1.7, pages, dot, cart, very useful. Method is gonna be post, and then inside it, I'm gonna add an input first, type hidden, and this is gonna hold as value my product dot ID product. The name, is gonna be of course ID product. And then we're gonna add another input. This time it's gonna be for the quantity. So input type number, as we don't want to allow the user to add um, alphanumeric, uh, sorry, um, alphabetic characters. So it's gonna have a style. And I will use inline styling here just to be quicker. Feel free to use CSS if you prefer. So it's gonna have some padding, just to style it a bit, nine pixel, 10 pixels, then float left. Width is gonna be 30%. Then it's gonna have a, a margin left of uh, say 10 pixels. Should be okay. Uh, so input type number and then it's gonna have some class. So in 1.7 you really need to add uh, These classes input group in order for the style the uh, input to be styled decently So input dash group and then form dash control much similar to 1.6 actually the name Is gonna be QTI and make sure the names are exactly these ones. So ID product for the product ID Q, T, Y for the uh, quantity, otherwise it's not gonna work. We're gonna add a minimum value, one, and add a default as well, one. Then we need a button to trigger or add to cart, so we're gonna add button style, float left, some other margin, margin left, 13 pixels, and I know the style already since I tried it. I'm just trying to uh, space the, um, the button and the quantity box evenly. Then the um, most useful, I guess, most uh, useful and very required um, piece of data here. So it's gonna be data dash button dash action, and it's gonna be add to Cart. So this piece of information here, this property is gonna make possible adding to the cart. Now, why did we add it inside a form? Why did we add the um, other two inputs? It's because otherwise this would trigger with nothing. So anything that has this, uh, any button having this uh, data button action thing set to add to cart is gonna trigger the add to cart action in PrestaShop 1.7. However, if you don't put it inside a form, if you don't add the ID product and at least the ID product and the quantity, then it's just not gonna do anything, okay? So uh, we're gonna add a class actually to it. 
and it's going to be btn btn dash primary. Okay, and we're just going to add add to card. Okay, let's save and see what happens. If I refresh now, okay, I can see it's a bit misplaced, but let's try it out. So like say two. First, I want to empty my card. I will just um, empty it. Okay, I'm going to refresh. All right, so let me add uh, two units of this faded short sleeves t-shirt. Good, two units added. Great, so it's it's basically done. Now, let's just give it some decent styling. So I will go back to my um, classic template and I'm going to add um, some style to the theme file. So it's an assets, CSS, and right down below here, it's actually below the recording um, viewport, but it's theme.css and around line um, 6146, so 6146. I'm going to change the height of this um, thumb, uh, how's it called? Thumbnail container to allow a bit more space, a bit more space. So um, 358, and then we need to increase the size of the um, the last block as well. This part. So we're gonna do it at line uh, 6207, which is the um, product description block. Okay. So this is gonna be um, another another 40 pixels, so 100, 110. Save, refresh, if it's not cached, we should see the result. Good, so let's try it again. Five units of this blouse product. All right, good, proceed to checkout. Let's just make sure it's uh, displaying correctly. Good, so it's done. All right, so you could see it was pretty easy to add this kind of functionality, I hope. It's, uh, it will be implemented into the core soon. So if anyone from the PrestaShop team is um, watching this video, please do as As you can see, it's not, uh, I guess you know it better than me, it's not overly complicated. Okay, so I think this is everything for today's video. I hope you found it useful. And if you did, please subscribe the channel and follow the blog at nemops.com for more great PrestaShop tutorials and tips. Thanks for watching, I will see you next time.